Welcome back everyone to a series where I try your build that you posted in the comments. Yes, this series is very much alive. I only wanted to take a break. Um, well, to do other things. Taking a break is fine, right? Anyway, in this episode, I'm presenting this build submitted by Jai William 7720 It's a saw dagger build compiled of gas and electric, shattering impact mod, and exotic contagion with a Malcolm Argonac mod. And before I show you my setup, I would like to announce that I will be live streaming on YouTube on Sunday 9am GMT plus 7, where I'm going to be playing some Warframe with you guys. And I hope to see some of you participate in the stream. Now let's cut to the chase. I am using Vault with his second ability, Subsume over to Ensnare. Aura and Exiles isn't all too important, but I'm using Breaver Sprite and Prime Surefooted. I'm using Shock Trooper to add Electric to my weapon which is important for my setup, and I'll show you why in a bit. Capacitance so that I'd have some survivability. Rolling Guard to save my bacon for a brief period. Prime Continuity for some duration. Umbral Intensify for some strength, but you can substitute this with either Blind Rage or Transient Fortitude. I just don't have enough mod capacity. Archon Stretch for a bit of range, and a nice bit of energy regen. And for the last two slots are flexible. However, I went for Equilibrium to help with my energy sustain and Alka Secret for a bit more strength. And we'll talk about Arcanes in a bit since this part is relatively flexible. So here we have my Saw Dagger. As you can see, I don't have Electric modded here. And well, it's because my Shock Trooper already serves as an added elemental mod to my weapon. So that leaves one mod open for me to slide in Weeping Wounds. With all the status chance combined from 60-60 mods, Galvanized stacks and weeping wounds reaching 12x combo, I was barely able to get 100% status on a 14% base. It does kind of matter when you're going for a gas and electric, and I have organ shatter replacing damage mod because I already have arcane fury slot in my warframe. However, you can replace it if you don't want or don't have arcane fury to pressure point or condition overload if you plan to use it with primer. Then you have an empty arcane slots, which you can slot in Molt Augmented for more strength on your Shock Trooper, or Arcane Strike if you want faster melee attacks, or Energize because every Warframe player's number one fear is not having enough energy, and are afraid to use energy pads. As for Companion, I am using Panzer Vulbophila with Viral Quills to spread viral to enemies, and Tenacious Bond for a sweet bit of 1.2 additive crit damage multiplier. Of course, we're not forgetting Aconac with its Amalgam mod for passive armor strip with daggers. And I'm using Naramon for power spike passive, so that melee combo would decay instead of being depleted. So, as a premise to this build, you first have to hold cast your first ability to activate Shock Trooper, cast your electric shield, then pick it up, group enemies with your ensnare to start hack and slashing. And for when your shield gets depleted, you can cast your 4 to replenish it, so long that you have enemies nearby, and watch as the enemies vanish before your eyes. This works because of one powerful melee arcane, melee influence. When active, it spreads statuses nearby enemies within the radius, spreading around gas and electric while passively stripping away enemies' armor. As a bonus, electric shield gives plus 50% electric damage and times one additive crit damage multiplier similarly to Tenacious Bond. I find it more effective to slash around enemies with melee rather than shooting a projectile, but Exotic Contagious was just too fun to give up. Aww. So you see me doing it a lot in this clip. It clears out crowds so fast that you'd be struggling a bit to find more enemies to kill. Now, the main caveat of this build is that it shines the most in high density area or tight corridors with fewer more enemies. It struggles a bit against heavy unit, but with the passive armor strip, it can help to alleviate that time to kill. I would say this is the most fun I've had playing around with Saw for the first time ever after over 5,000 hours into the game, and that's saying something. Definitely an endgame viable and can be used even further with other potential synergies. And now I'm gonna do a rating, and I gotta say this again, I had so much fun with Saw for the first time ever. I'm not really like a melee guy, I just like to shoot things and see things blows up. So this one really takes the cake for me. And now I'll give this build 
an 8.5 out of 10. It definitely deserves it. So that's it everyone, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.